friends in the last video we have seen that javascript code runs in two environments that is browser and node.js and we have seen what is javascript engine and what are the steps performed by javascript engine to translate our code into the machine code if you have not seen that video please go and watch that and then you can come back to this and in this video let's talk about some more things that javascript engine will do for us so let's get started So the question is what is execution context? So friends you can read here the environment that helps code get executed is called execution context. Next it's the code that's actually currently running and everything surrounding it helps to run it. Okay that's a big definition but let me explain you that. Friends you can see here this box is our javascript code whatever the javascript we have written that is this code and after that this parser interpreter and compiler all these things are several other programs that are helping our code to execute right so javascript engine creates a wrapper and inside that wrapper it will put some other programs that are beyond us because we have written only one file that is our javascript file so engine creates a wrapper and it will put some other programs that programs help our program to translate or to convert into machine code or to execute okay that wrapper is called execution context so that is what that definition is saying engine creates a wrapper and inside that wrapper we'll have some programs and that programs help our code to run that's it okay now next point code gets parsed generates bytecode and an allocation of memory and execution of code so this is what happens inside the execution context we have seen that we have a parser that will parse our code and after that bytecode is generated and along with that allocation of memory and execution of code all these things happen inside the execution context now we have understood what is execution context so let's go to the next point here base execution context is global execution context now what is mean by this so friends let me uh, take a simple scenario let's assume that there is a big river in a city or village okay there are some swimming pools with some people in that village or city now this big river is visible to everyone and everyone can see that big river in the village or city and can go and swim in that river right and come into swimming pools only the people who are the owners of that swimming pool can swim in that right because they own that swimming pool right so here guys that big river is called global execution context and that swimming pool is called function execution context okay so we'll talk about this function execution context in the next video but for now just remember that the base execution context or the starting execution context is global execution context that example is not perfect but i just want to give you a rough idea so that's why i have taken that example and friends here if you see we have something called global and that global is nothing but variables or code that is not inside a function you will understand this more clearly by the end of video now move on to the next point when it is created so just run javascript file even it is empty the global execution context is created by the javascript engine so even if you run just empty file execution context is created by the javascript engine and here we have a diagram so what it is saying is after engine creates execution context it will create two other things the first one is global object and the second one is this variable so engine creates execution context and inside that execution context it will give two things for us first thing is global object and second thing is this variable and always remember that this variable points to global object at the global level and remember here i am using the sentence at the global level i'll tell you more about this in the later videos okay enough theory now let's see if the engine really creates this global object and this variable so guys you can see here i am in my vs code and i have created a file index.html and i have linked that with app.js and inside the app.js you can see it's completely empty so let's go to google so you can see guys i have got that please friends subscribe so here i am in my console now let's write something called window so i'll write window and press enter okay so here we got an object so here this window is called global object that is created by the javascript engine inside the execution context okay you can see here we have seen global object right so this window object is called global object that is created by the javascript engine inside the execution context okay also remember friends in case of node.js it is not window object there it is some other global object but the point is it will always create global object here in case of browsers it is window object okay now let's write here that this variable so i'll write this press enter you can see guys if i press enter i got again window object so that means we understood that this variable points to global object that is window object at the global level 
Now we have understood that even though there is no code in our JavaScript file, but when we executed that, JavaScript engine created execution context and gave us the global object that is nothing but window object, also this variable and that is and that is pointing to the window object. Okay. Now let's do something. I'll go to my app.js and insert this. Let's take a variable. So I'll write variable a equal to let's say I'll write Srikant. Okay, let's close that and after that and let's take a function. So here I'll write function and then say hi. Open the parentheses and insert this. Let's write console.log. Just I'm a function. Okay, something like that. And now let's not call that function. Okay, let's go to browser. So here I'm in my console again. Here let's write window again and press enter. Now let's open this object. So you can see guys at first itself I have a variable and then Srikant okay and let me scroll down now okay so where is that so guys you can see here we have that function say hi okay so whatever the function we have created so that is sitting here now the question is why my variable and function is sitting inside the global object okay so whatever the code I have written here why this code is sitting inside that window object so friends in JavaScript when you create variables and functions and you are not inside a function, those variables and functions are attached to the window object. Remember this fundamental thing that always variables and code that is not inside a function will be attached to the window object. So let's see them and if you go to browser, since they are sitting inside the window object, we can simply write window and then dot a and then we can get that value right because that a is a property, we can access property by using dot operator right. So that's why and if I press enter we'll get Srikant and after that we can also access function. So here I'll write say then and then hi. You can say I got function and we can do something like window equal to equal to this. Now we'll get true because we have seen that at global level window is equal to this. Now let's go back to the definition. So here you can see that we have and you are not inside a function. Now what is mean by that? So let's go back to VS code. Let's do something. Here I'll, here I'll take another function. So that will be say hello. Let's open parentheses and let's write here console.log. So I'll write, I'll simply write hello. Okay, let's close that. Let's go back to browser. So here let's write window again and press enter. Now we can get that function by writing window dot say hi, right? Say and then hi press enter now we can see we got that function now let's try to access that say hello function so i'll write window and then dot say hello if i press enter we'll get undefined so let's go to vs code so friends here you can see that variable a equal to srikan this is completely outside right this is not inside any function okay and this say hi function is also completely outside right and coming to this point this function it is sitting inside the say hi function okay so according to our definition in JavaScript, when you create variables and functions and that are not inside a function, those variables and functions are attached to the window object. So that's the reason this variable a as well as this function say i is attached to the window object. But this function say hello is sitting inside another function inside a function. So that's why that is not attached to the window object and we are not going to get access to that using window object. So, so let's recall everything once again. So we have seen execution context is the wrapper that is created by JavaScript engine and inside that wrapper we have two things one is global object and that and other one is this variable and at the global level this this variable always points to global object and in the later videos you will definitely understand why we are telling here at the global level okay and when you create any variables or functions that are outside the functions then that will be attached to the window object okay. So I hope you understood all these concepts. In the next video, we'll talk some more interesting things. Then everything will make sense to you. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing guys and give it a like. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.